you know, since I can remember, I've been wanting to bring together a team of people to utilize this operating system that I have been designing. And there have been a number of occasions where it almost happened. And I, I feel it's a combination of me not setting the parameters for what people were getting involved in and people wanting to do their own thing. And it's like coming into a basketball court and there's no coach there and everyone plays and you play uh, basketball, you pick up some pickup and you have a good game and you like the game. But if you come into a, a gym and there's a, a coach there, the coach wants to control the players, wants to get them to practice certain things, wants them to learn a system that they then are members of and they play a role on. And I think in basketball, it's pretty obvious when you're part of a team with a coach, which is very distinctly different from pickup. But in, in regular life, it isn't always that way. And I didn't come across, I guess I, uh, the situation wasn't set up where I was the coach, which gave me control over what the players were gonna do and essentially what the players were gonna think and what the players, how the players are gonna be organized. And, you know, that's the difference between pickup and organized basketball. And in life, in the business world, it's a different thing. And if you have all these independent contractors or artists or independents coming together to create a business together that has a high aim of you know, building a whole new world or coming up with a whole new business system, my own assumption has been that you need a blueprint, you need a map, you need some sort of thing to bring the people together. And timing seems to have a lot to do with things. And I find over the years, I've come to a point of pure, I don't know if you'd call it humility or despair, where you realize how difficult it is for humans to interact together in a manner that is sort of different than how they have done so before. And you can have an, a vision of it or a dream of it or an ideal of it, but that doesn't mean it's gonna be transferred to the, to the other people. And since basketball is my main reference point, it was the sport that I played when I was growing up and, and the game that I understand the best. And what I learned the game through, there was always a coach. And so these, these blueprints, at least that have, that have been designed through me, are the same type of blueprints in a sense that a, a player gets and they have a 3-2 offense or a 2-1-2 offense where they, they have a methodology of positioning or configuring the players that you <clears throat> run plays through. And so the idea for this inflow matrix operating system is it's a way to make plays. It's, it's, an, it's, a, it's a positioning system where you have this clock, a new type of clock that's above me called the time translator. And on there, you design or plan your future or you analyze your past or you look at the present moment and go like, you know, what, what is happening here? And there's a, there's a di distinct difference between a coach and players or in the army, like a lieutenant and the platoon and, or in the business, the executive and the, the business team. And I think these days people want, they don't want a hierarchical order telling them what to do based upon someone else's goal. They, they want to live their dream. They want to do what they want to do. But how do you do that if you're alone doing your own thing and you're no good at marketing and you don't have an infrastructure? You know, you're, you're going to be pretty isolated and alone. And so I think these days, especially these days, is we need a team. You know, we actually need a business team that we're working with. But is it possible to do so 
without like a corporate infrastructure to do it. Like what I see missing is, is people coming together, working together on teams and creating lifestyles together. And it isn't a cult, you know, and it's, it's not a bunch of weirdos over there, you know, trying to, to carve out a living. It's, it's, it's a normal way of life for human beings to team up, organize and create and build things that come through their own inherent creativity. And so that's the point of the, the, the operating system. I mean, you know, it, it's funny because, you know, when you're designing something, you get really into it and then you sort of lose perspective on a lot of things. And if you're obsessive and a researcher and you're, you're always designing what you want to design, you really <laughs> leave the farm or you're, you're, you're on the fringe or you're not interested in the same things that most people are interested in and you don't communicate in the same way. At some point, you just, it, you, you leave the social mindset, you leave collective consciousness and you leave how most human beings are interacting right now. And so then when you come back with what you created, it's not an easy journey. And I think there's a lot of people out there, artists and inventors that feel very ostracized from the normal way of, of life these days, but there's a lot of them. And we need to come together and share what we've come up with. Because, you know, whether my age or younger or older, there's a lot of people who've worked all their lives on creating something for the community or for the world that is beautiful, that is brilliant, that is intelligent, but they're, they can't fit with the, the old paradigm. They can't fit with how things are. And so they're, they're pushed out or they've been left out or they're, they, they spent a lot of time away from the normal social norms and I think there's a great, there's a great sadness in it. There's a great, you know, we all want to belong to something, you know, either bigger than us or a group of people that love us and we love them. You know, it's, it's beautiful to walk into a room and everyone goes, Hey, and then they know you rather than walk into a room and no one even acknowledges your existence. You know, the, the, the difference is that big. And so with a team, you're, you're operating with people that you hope you have a, a deep respect and trust and love with. And there's a, there's a, a real accountability because you, you know, if you don't do your part, you know, the, all these people that you care about and respect are, are going to sort of, you know, begin to hold each other accountable and to move from a sort of a paradigm of punishment to a, to a paradigm of compassion, to know that we've all got our little problems that we have troubles facing alone, but with a team supposedly, that we can get through them together or, or, you know, somebody's going to be really good at something that you were not good at. And because of that, you know, your weakness no longer is a weakness because now you're focusing on your strength. Now you're coming in with your, what you're really good at and maybe you weren't good at accounting and you're no good with paperwork and everyone, nothing could occur, happen, but now that can be done. Somebody else is doing it and everyone goes, oh, but one person just loves doing paperwork. They love doing accounting. So, you know, let that person do it. So anyway, uh, you know, a little while ago, I, I, I was being sort of pressured or pushed by two fronts. One, a little software program that we're creating together with the Nova. And on the other hand, a sort of a synchronistic theoretical reality connection with Gregory, uh, another originator around time. Anyway, so it was like, I've been waiting for the right time. I've been right waiting almost for people to come up and go, Hey man, I hear you got this operating system. We want you to, you know, teach us. It just doesn't happen. And I'd, I'd love to you know, say, Hey man, I've been very successful and bring this to the world, but I haven't. And I can see why. And on the other hand, I can't see why. I mean, personally, I, I think this, you know, if there was ever a time that we needed an organizational system to build something new, it is now. And that is why I think the timing is now. And here we are at Christmas. And what happened was I, I, I invited 34 people of the 100 in Facebook to uh, participate in coming together as a team this six hours later. 
on Sunday. And 10 people said yes. And, you know, there's 10 spots on the main synergy wheel uh, of the inflow matrix. And so it's amazing. You invite 34, 10 people show up and, and an 11 that came at the end, uh, but then nine can expand to 12. Uh, so it just shows, you know, that nature is amazing in terms of self-organizing. And I, I really think that when we're in tune with natural cycles and we're operating with something that makes sense, that's a way to organize a business and then put meaning into it by coming up with a set of values for it, it then becomes a reference point for the team to go create. Now, this first team, it's got some pretty interesting people in there. It's a pretty strong team, but there's a lot of strong creatives there that are all doing their own thing. So to work together as a team is a big thing. To uh, utilize the inflow matrix is another big thing. And to work with me is another big thing. And to figure out a, a primary reference point for what you're doing is a big thing. Because I, I thought it had to do with this little software program or what's happening with Greg. But then for most of the call, Greg couldn't even speak. He was silenced. And so the universe has a way of sometimes changing the nature of what you think is going to happen into what is going to happen. And then you have to sort of figure out, okay, well, what do we do now? So next, this Sunday at four o'clock is a meeting online uh, with the 10 people. Now I'm sort of wondering, okay, well, we got 10. That's a team. And I'm wondering with the other 34 people or, or people out there who are going to watch this, do you want to make a team? Because... To me now, we need to make a whole bunch of teams, uh, planetary guardians, and start to save the world and start to do so in an intelligent and nonviolent and fun and joyful and wealth creating way. And so this is what this video has to do with it. And I'm hoping that there are things I'm saying in here which interest you and you start to see this is a story, this is a plan, this is a, a methodology to get all of us to create the new world that we want to create. And how are you going to do that? It's good to have a plan. It's good to have an operating system. And let's utilize the technology of the day to do so. So I'm utilizing the technology of the day, using this media system to change media from just watching other people and what they're doing and to watch ourselves and to get really good at sending concise videos that really explain what you want to explain that you would in a meeting if you had the floor, but you never really get the time to do so. So uh, there's other people involved here uh, that have other pieces. And anyway, I would just like to say hello. Uh, this is another piece of the puzzle. And uh, the show is about to get on the road, it seems.